Hello guys, how you doing? So a little update video today. So as you can see, one of the first changes, first, well, main changes we've done is we've changed our truck. Uh, the F-150 Ford is gone. And uh, we just got this replacement two weeks ago, which is um, a Ram 3500 Laramie 2023 Dually. So that's the new vehicle that we're going to be using. Reason behind it, well, you know, we're going to get a toy holder so we can actually put the Can-Am on it. Um, so roughly that's what we got. We got a Dually 3500 Laramie, full package, full loaded. Um, but that's one of the main changes. So one of the things that we're going to be doing today, I already saw a couple things like phone holders, changed the badges, they were like chrome. I've put like black instead. Uh, I'm gonna also gonna be changing the chrome part right here and the chrome part right there and the grill is gonna be black. So we're gonna be changing those running boards, uh, automatic running boards. We're gonna come and replace those. And then uh, we're gonna lift the truck and put some uh, 35s on it. Uh, not too much of a lift, just going to be 3.5 I believe. Um, and it's going to be putting some fuel, fuel, uh, rims on it. Um, those should be coming on Monday and then the dealer will be installing all that. But I already installed the black badges, uh, on the sides as well as in the back. The only thing that we're missing right now, it's, uh, yeah, it's the lift kit, uh, new rims, new tires automatic running boards that's what we're gonna have instead of that those chrome ones um, and then thing that just came up today is gonna be the tonneau cover so we're gonna do that install today uh, we are trying the paragon one so that's what we're gonna be installing and then um, yeah I'm gonna make a video of that um, and then as soon as I have the new parts so the chrome is actually gonna be color paint matches and then the grill is going to be black we're waiting for that it's not here yet and then uh, same for the mirrors we're going to black them out and then yeah uh i need to bring the truck to the dealer on monday and then they will be doing the lift and new tires and rims and i will be able to show you what the truck looks like after that but yeah little update we have a new truck um dually so we can get the, the toy holder uh so that's gonna be the next step but today we're gonna be installing the tonneau cover on it it's a paragon one so yeah stay tuned uh upcoming videos as, as i mentioned as well we're gonna have the uh change of the we're gonna be uh, forgive me it's a mess but we're gonna be having um changing the spark plugs on the cam and then installing new fender flares and we're going to be actually giving away some fender flares as well so stay tuned for the giveaway that's going to be fun but for now we're going to be focusing on the truck for now all right guys so we're going to install the paragon cover this is the classic one on a ram 3500 truck with an eight Eight, uh, eight feet bed. So this is how it comes packaged. It's two packages. Um, this one actually came first yesterday. And this one came in this morning. So the two packages came at different times. But I guess it's fine. They came roughly at the same time. You know, this one came on Friday. And that one came Saturday morning. Um, it took like roughly a week and a half to get that shipped and then it took like three days to came here to texas uh so far what we're gonna do is we're gonna do install packaging as you can see is well done um the boxes were damaged a little bit but i mean it seems that everything is fine um so what we're gonna do now is i'm just gonna unpack everything and then i'm gonna start the install on the truck and then i can show you the step by step and uh, what we're gonna be doing on this and that way you can uh, check yourself. I didn't saw a lot of options on a Ram 3500 for 2023. Um, I'm assuming it's the same as 2022, but I didn't saw a lot of options. So this was one of them. 
uh, looks sturdy, look great. Um, so, you know, we're going to do the install and give some review later on. But so far, we're going to start with, you know, unpacking everything and then uh, go step by step. The manual comes there, so we're going to take a look at it. Maybe, maybe not. And we're just going to do the, uh, the install for it and then um, provide your feedback at the same time. All right, step number one, what we're going to do is we're going to set the rail upside down. And then there's a couple of parts that come in the kit that we're going to put. So on the right side, we're actually going to put this one, which is a simple turn on the little screw that comes. Then we're going to put like the plastic washer on it. And then we're supposed to put this one on top of it right there and then screw it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to push. We're just going to set it and that's what we're going to do. And then on the other side, we're going to have this one that has like a plastic hook as well attached to it and it has like a T on it. And then we're going to put the plastic washer that comes with it. We're going to set up the plate and then we're going to screw it as well. All right, step number two, we're actually going to take the little rails over there. The good thing is, as you can see here, it says six drive. And then that little piece here, you will see a two, it's piece number two with a D, that's the driver's side. And then what you will do is you're gonna take two half inch and you will actually slide them here through the uh, rail. So we'll slide them here through the rail and then put them inside. And then we're gonna put this part in and bolt them in. Same on the passenger side. You will see there's a P for passenger and then that part over there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. There's also a little P there. It's uh, for passenger side. So same, we're gonna slide okay, one half inch and then put them in and then we're gonna tie them in and bolt them in. All right, once we actually take that snugged, what we're we gonna do is we actually gonna take a little wipey here and then we're gonna click uh, we're going to clean this part over here and then we're going to install. Uh, so on that end, we're going to install the little like lip here so the water doesn't come in. And that's what we're going to be installing uh, on the Paragon. All right, so next step, and this is the part that I like the least. What you guys going to do is you're going to take six inch for the border and then you're going to drill a hole over there. Then... You're gonna take six inches from this border and then same, drill a hole over there. And then normally you should be in, putting it in the middle, but unfortunately there's a lot of uh, things on the back. So I put it roughly where I felt we hadn't any, uh, any obstructions. Put it roughly in the middle, it's gonna be a support. So I put it right there, same on the other side. All right, so what we're gonna do is once we actually put those things <coughs> you can have the same with all I put the three of them on each side with the help of a friend or you can do it by yourself put the rail on top of it what we're going to do is we're going to slide those ones we're going to be sliding these ones inside the rail and um, there you go. we're going to slide them all the way in to uh, where they need to be uh, the only thing is um, you will need the washers to kind of like make for, for the space that you will have between here. So the washers, you will need some washers here to make sure that it makes up for it. Once you have that done, um, just tie them up and then you should be able to have the rail in the right position now. So once you put those brackets and put the rail on it, you just have to slide through here the, the, the screw and bolt and then put some washers to adapt to the height. I have to put 10 washers on each side for each one of them in order to make sure that, you know, we were able to put it. And then after that, I'm just going to slide the door in it. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to put the adapters on the rails. This thing is going to be making sure that, you know, the rail doesn't move too much and is able to guide the door to close. So we're gonna put the, the, the little adapters here to make sure that it maintains the rail and then we're gonna be ready to go. 